hey guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel welcome or welcome back it's been a while i took a break i took a personal break and yeah i haven't been doing videos in in weeks but you know what your girl is back. bigger and better i'm back bigger and better and yeah today i have something I, I know most of you will relate, ladies, obviously, and I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it teaches you a thing or two, and yo, don't sub don't forget to <laughs> subscribe to my IT, subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up, and share. I, I had missed vlogging, I swear to God, I had missed vlogging, and I'm so excited. I'm excited to be back. It's been a, it's been boring like without a, ch a YouTube channel like I have been active and I've been bored to death so I'm glad I'm back and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and so today I'm going to talk about how to look bougie how to look expensive how to look chic on a budget even if you're broke you can still look good and I know in this generation like things are changing really fast trends there's, there's new trends coming up the old ones are, are being forgotten whatever so i'm going to talk about how to keep up with the trends i'm going to teach you some few tweaks here and there to like yeah to like keep you on toes on in the world of fashion and uh, some few tricks so i hope you enjoy this video and uh, yeah let's get started so yeah to keep up with the latest fads all you need is a good eye for detail and just a little bit, a tiny bit of creativity. Some of these tweaks that I want to like share with you, that 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 alone will make you look bougie, look chic, and classy on a budget, even if you're so fucking broke. You don't have to be rich to be classy, you know. You don't have to like wear Louis Vuitton, Alexander McQueen, to be chic to be on point and let me tell you the first thing the first first thing that will make you look good on a budget is thrifting most of us like uh, prefer <laughs> to thrift clothes uh instead of like going to boutiques or whatever to buy brand new clothes thrifted clothes i find them i find them to be a little more i don't know unique you know this uh, clothes you get from the shop you'll find most people have them like they own them so like I prefer thrifting clothes you can go around um, the market you'll find very good clothes very nice so thrifting just try thrifting uh, avoid going to to the shops to get clothes just try for once try to thrift clothes instead of actually buying them from the um, so I will, I'll continue emphasizing on accessories. For you to to look con, to look chic and uh, bougie and to be to look like a body, I think accessories are the number one thing that should uh, like complement your uh, like total outfit. Uh, other, I'm talking of braces, bangles. I'm talking of uh, earrings. I'm talking of necklaces. Uh, all those. So you complete you have to complete your look with a, a nice necklace a nice earring nice rings you know all those accessories personally i'm not a fan i'm not a big fan like i've been wearing this for forever <laughs> so i'm not a big fan of necklaces but i know i know they'll make you look fantastic earrings i'm not a fan also a uh, rings not a big fan but i'm a fan so but Try accessories. Accessories are a very good thing to like make you look, make you look bad, make you look bougie, make you look ill, classy, name it. Okay, so the second thing is, please don't keep something that doesn't fit you. Just be wearing fitting clothes every time. Once you wear a baggy, a baggy thingy, your body like, okay, okay. Um, I'm a fan of baggy mom jeans baggy mom jeans baggy shirts but that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about 
clothes that are big for you not in a cute way but in a in an odd way so keep off clothes that don't fit you always wear something that is fitting and if you want to wear a baggy thing look for good mom jeans look for a good baggy t-shirt especially a black one or a white one i'm telling you you'll rock you'll be rocking these streets for real for real so let's talk about the general outlook always make sure your hair your nails your face everything is on point i mean i mean that's like the most vital thing your face your face is everything when it comes to looking bougie your face is everything i assure you i'm not a uh, big fan of makeup and i don't think makeup will, um i don't think makeup is the only thing that will make you look bad you can be natural and look expensive i mean you can it's so possible because personally i don't use makeup and uh, so it's you don't necessarily have to use makeup to look expensive and if you do i recommend a, a bright colored lipstick a red one most probably maroon those colors and lip gloss i'm a sucker for lip gloss lip gloss is i mean that thing it changes every like once you put lip gloss on you you're like a totally different person so lip gloss or a brightly colored lipstick it, it will make your presence be recognized you enter a room and people will be like damn she looks good yeah yeah so lip gloss a good lipstick nails always make sure your nails are on point don't be chewing your nails yo but i i think that some people have like nail, nail polish and it has like it's like half i don't know I'm like i don't know how to explain but make sure your nails are complete on point make sure your hair is great that way someone will be looking will look at you and be like wow you look amazing or you'll turn heads i sure you. you you'll walk in town and people will be like damn that girl she looks amazing so hair the face the fucking nails should be on point i mean and I'm, i mean this on a serious note make sure your hair nails your face everything looks amazing before walking out yeah and another thing is play with your body silhouette to achieve the right look i mean playing with your body silhouette is knowing your body type knowing the right thing to be wearing with your body type Personally, I'm petite. So, being petite, you will find me most of the time. I'll be wearing tiny skirts, dresses, uh, short skirts, baggy mommy jeans, baggy t-shirts. But you will rarely find me wearing, I don't know, bo booty shorts, uh, trousers that you know that are tight because they tend to they, they don't do justice to to my petite body so i think wearing something baggy okay so another one stick with basic color palettes they, those consist of blacks grays whites you know white is the ultimate color black you know those colors they rhyme with almost anything and um contrary to the bright colors like pink uh, yellow or whatever red so sticking with basic color palette is a very nice idea beige beige totally use beige uh just dark colors basic color palettes white mostly so why am i saying this if you want to look bougie and you just put on a white dress black shoes yeah your hair is on point your nails your face is on point and you walk out i'm telling you people will be like damn that girl is bad she's expensive she's bougie stick with basic color palette i okay so try to wear patterns diligently i know not everyone likes to be simple you know wear white wear basic color some people want to like try to be more colorful signature looks you know or whatever and um i'm, I'm some people i love wearing patterns so if you want to wear patterns make sure you match them diligently make sure you, you match the right colors make sure you wear the right top the right skirt the right shoes with patterns because with wearing patterns anything can go wrong 
I'm, I show you, you can, you can look like a clown <laughs> or you can look like a bad bitch. So wear patterns diligently, just match them, play with the patterns, I assure you. You'll, you, you'll be you'll be perfect play with patterns diligently be careful be creative don't just put a put put a cloth online i mean don't just just match your patterns diligently that's so vital i assure you and um i don't match your hardware you know these chains that you can uh, put on trousers and skirts I'm talking buckles. I'm talking generally hardwares are these top accessories on clothes. So make sure you have the right chain on that trouser. Make sure you have the right buckle on that shoe. Uh, that will determine. You know, not everyone pays a close look to uh, your those chains or those buckles. But just do yourself some justice. Wear the right hardware. On your clothes on your shoes make sure you look on point 24 7 yeah I just tops I <laughs> make sure you own a dull colored make sure your wardrobe is not bright like all the time I'm talking you can have a nude shoe you can have a um, black dress invest Invest on nudes, invest on blacks, invest on beige, invest on basic color palettes. I insist. And just to be like frank with you people, frankly speaking, this is just my opinion. I mean, this is just what I think, my research. So it's not like you should do this. I mean, if looking bougie, being bougie, looking expensive, looking bad, looking rich comes from inside. I can wake up today and say I'm a bad bitch, I'm an expensive bitch, I'm an ill bitch, and I'll be. And there's some people like, man, she looks perfect than me. I mean, stop comparison. Don't compare. So these are my opinions. You're, in, you're expensive, you're rich from the inside before you're rich and expensive and bougie from the outside. Not really rich. Rich in clothes, rich in the, in the soul, in the heart. But if you want to look bougie, it comes from inside. You have to think bougie, you have to think bougie before looking, actually looking bougie or bad or expensive. So yeah, this is just my opinion and make sure you look, exp you, you, you feel expensive <laughs> before actually wanting to look expensive. And yeah, so the last thing I'm talking about is confidence. Confidence, I mean, if you walk in a room and you're like so confident, your hair is your head is held up high you're walking with the right posture you you just you're taking all the attention and telling you look expensive you have to walk in a room and people will be like yes girl yes don't just walk and humbling it no don't you ever humble yourself while going anywhere just walk with your head held high and that will make you look like Okay, so basically that's just <laughs> it, uh, and I hope I, I hope this will benefit someone out there who wants to look expensive, even if they're broke. I mean, I, I repeat, you don't have to to be rich to look rich, and you don't have to to look basic just because you're broke. I mean. You can be broke and look like you have a lot of money and you don't have. And yeah, that's just it. I hope it helps someone out there. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'm really humbled. And I hope I won't be taking any more personal breaks. I'm here to stay. I'm here to stay. And I really love interacting with you people. I hope that... I'll, I'll be creating more content that you people will relate to in time and yeah thank you just for watching and like this video give it give it a thumbs up share if you can and yeah once again i really appreciate i really do appreciate and yeah bad bitches <laughs> yeah bad bitches bye
you are expensive don't just forget that you're expensive you are ill you are a bougie bitch you're a bad bitch you're i mean you're an expensive bitch and let no one tell you otherwise just be confident in yourself and i'm telling you no one will, will just will have that audacity to come and tell you otherwise i mean once you have that confidence you are great you are okay and yeah bye